Yes, we play a game called If You Only Knew. I'll ask a question. You answer it as quickly as so possible. So now's a good time to drink water. Yeah. Go ahead and ask. Uh, your proudest accomplishment. Wow. I, uh, I think being a decent human being. Nice. Uh, a food you can't seem to stomach. Uh, the bitters. I don't like the bitters. Sour beer is terrible. I oh, yeah. get it. Yeah, I don't like that either. Something that scares you. The end of the world. <laughs> yeah. Do you think about that a lot? I do now, yeah. Yeah. It uh, seems to be a bigger topic the, the, longer, the longer some of these things wait that need attention. Climate change. That is a good example. Nuclear apocalypse. Yeah, I mean, that could happen. There are wars that may break out. Yeah. It feels like businesses are more powerful than governments, and that's where we've run into some severe issues. Yeah. Robots and AI taking over. I don't think we'll race. get to that point. I think the world is going to kill us before robots. Just the climate change. Yeah. Yeah. And then the robots will just take over from there if they're ready in time. Yeah. Let's see if we can get them ready. Yeah. Let's get them ready so they can yeah. clean up Let's our mess. Let's get these robots ready. Yeah. Uh, a show you're currently binge watching? Um, the Boys. Okay. I just finished it. Where's that? What's that show? I, I the Boys is uh, based on a comic book. It's um, Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg produce it. It's phenomenal. You you uh, you've been in Spider Man, so you you follow comic books. Or? I do follow some comic books. Spider Man actually, I had a subscription to when I was a kid, uh -huh. so I feel very connected to. It. I feel really fortunate to be a part of that. But The Boys, I also read. Not in its entirety. I think there's like 15 books of it, but I, I read about eight or nine of them, and they did a really good job with the show. That's cool. Which of the characters that you've played do you relate the most to? Probably Bill Haverchuk. Mm -hmm. Someone you wish you could switch places with for a day. Oh, I, oh, the, oh, maybe Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> so, you could, so I could undo some of the damage uh -huh. he's currently doing to yeah. our whole political system. Yeah, that's something that I think about a lot as well. Do you think he is is making it worse, or he's he's, he's allowing Russian trolls onto the, yeah, the well, election I, process? I think it helps. It benefits him. If if it benefits him, then that's enough of a reason. I have to assume. I, I can't imagine any other reason that you would want to keep the power where it is. Mm -hmm. I think he's a little bit uh, nervous about potentially Elizabeth Warren coming up and breaking up the company. So. Yeah, him and, uh, you know, I'm, uh, I, he's not the only one, but I th it's just a sad place to watch business take priority over human life, yeah. which is currently what is happening. I mean, he's got enough money, right? All of these yeah. people who have the money have it in such excess. You've got enough money. Yeah. Yeah. Um, secret talent that you have? Uh, I, um, I know how to use a whip. <laughs> really? Yep. Really? Like Indiana Jones kind of? Yep. Wow. And why did you uh, decide to do, to do that? I'm, I'm, if uh, you don't mind me asking. Yeah. Well, I do mind. Uh, actually, <laughs> that was rude. I'm going to go. Um, I, my mother dated a stunt guy when I was younger, mm -hmm. and he showed me how to use a whip a little bit. And then when my dad and I were driving cross country on our move to Florida, we stopped at a, a crate and barrel. What are they called? Uh, what, Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel, yeah. And inside the Cracker Barrel, there's that little store, uh -huh. that, like home goods oh, store yeah. or whatever yeah. they got. Yeah. And they had a whip there. Uh -huh. And I bought, I asked my dad if I could have the whip. And then I, would, like, while we were traveling across country, I would take it out every time we got out of the car and I would try to use it. Yeah. And there was a trucker at one of these stops and he said hey kid want me to show you how to use that thing and then grabbed the whip and like cracked it over his head so loud that my ears were ringing for the next 10 minutes uh-huh I was like I'm gonna figure out how to do that one day and, and now I know how and you still break out the whip every once in a while yeah I go to like random truck stops and I yeah. say hey kid <laughs> <laughs> it's gone full circle yeah yeah it's good to give back yeah. That's what I'm trying to do, yeah. really. <laughs> I'm glad you get it. Uh, something uh, that we should all be thinking more about. Oh, climate change. I, don't, I hate to stay on topic sure, here. But <laughs> sure, yeah. Um, what's the best advice ever given to you? To stick with it. To never stop trying. Don't quit, huh? Yeah. Do you ever, have you ever thought about retirement? or do you? I have quit. I quit acting at a point, uh, and it just didn't work out. Then Knocked Up came along. 
yeah. things have pulled me out of retire out of early early retirement it wasn't like i was like oh i have so much money i can afford to retire i was just like i don't think this business wants me uh-huh and so i had kind of given up at a point most starstruck you've ever been have you ever been starstruck me i mean i i got a little i'm sure i got nice and awkward around aaron rogers my uh-huh. my dad is from wisconsin and so um there's cheesehead in my blood. Yeah. So I got a little, got a little weird around him. Funniest or strangest fan encounters? I remember there was a girl who, on a platform in New Jersey, I was visiting my buddy Matt, and she was, it was like one in the morning, and she just started shaking and, uh, and crying, mm-hmm. and then gradually walked over. Mm-hmm. That was weird. People get freaked out. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, I guess you don't realize. I mean, I, I can understand. I I see the value in what we created with Freaks and Geeks, um, because it was so heartfelt and so pure in its core. That these are all related to real experiences that one of the writers, if not many of the writers, had growing up. Um, and sometimes some of the some of us, some of the actors who were in it. So these are they're all very earnest stories, and the fact that they resonate with people doesn't surprise me. I think you just sometimes you don't realize how much it affects people, and and those are kind of beautiful moments. As weird as that was, it m- made me feel so good to have created this connection with her unintentionally, yeah, um, or perhaps unaware. Yeah, um, but that it affected her so deeply that she couldn't help but you know to know that it's helping people that are maybe you know not yeah. the coolest kid at school or feel to, like to, uh, yeah. a little more normal to be able to connect with someone to to not feel alone when you're going through difficulty in life mm. is a really powerful gift to to give. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.